Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I am getting real about how to get a woman to come. I'm gonna be sharing my top six hacks for guaranteed orgasms every time. You are going to want to make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because I'm gonna be sharing some life changing secrets that are going to make you an absolute master in the sheets. So make sure you keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me. Now I have been a sex columnist for almost 10 years now and in that time I've learned a lot about sex and I've spoken to a lot of men and women about the topic of female pleasure and what we know from all of the research and from all of my own experiences writing about sex and having sex myself as a woman is that most women do not have really satisfying sex. We know that most women have faked sexual pleasure and faked orgasms at some stage in their lives. And this breaks my heart because so many women do not feel that they have a right to access pleasure. They feel that their role in the bedroom is simply to put on a performance for their male partner. And this really sure changes the men too. You guys watching this because I know especially my viewers and my audience really care about your female partner's pleasure and you want to give her that. I am going to actually break down some pretty much foolproof strategies for getting a woman to orgasm. This is stuff that you just do not get taught in sex ed. You certainly do not get taught this in porn. This is real life stuff that really works and like I said, you can apply it today. So with no further delay, let's get straight into hack number one. <laughs> When we think about sex, most of us think about getting naked, getting those clothes off and getting straight down to business. But actually this really short changes women because we know from all of the research that women actually take a significant amount of time to get relaxed enough in order to get lubricated enough to even be able to think about having pleasurable sex. When we get naked straight away and start getting straight down to business, what we really do is massively disadvantage a woman from being able to have that kind of warm up period. And the warm up period is just, it's not really acknowledged. Most of us weren't getting straight down into sex when we were younger and certainly not when we were having our first experiences. We were spending so much time doing things with our clothes on. Things like touching our partner over the clothes, kissing, long, deep, extended, passionate kissing, running our fingers through our partner's hair. All of these things allow a woman to get relaxed and to warm up and build anticipation. And hopefully if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that anticipation is key for women to experience sexual arousal. If you deliberately leave her clothes on and touch her over her clothes, really spend at least five to 10 solid minutes just kissing and touching with the clothes on and you are going to be absolutely blown away by how wet she is when her panties come off. <laughs> What's really interesting when we look at the research about male and female pleasure is that actually when men and women masturbate, meaning when we pleasure ourselves on our own in the absence of our partners, we both orgasm in about the same amount of time, which is as quickly as four minutes. But when we move to partnered sex, those numbers dramatically change. While there's not a lot of difference for men in terms of the amount of time it takes to get ready to climax during solo sex and partnered sex for women, there's a huge difference. The average woman takes anywhere from 12 to 25 minutes to be able to achieve orgasm when she is with a partner. Why does that number change? If we know that women have the ability to orgasm when they are on their own in as quickly as four minutes, should they not be able to orgasm that quickly with a partner? Well, the answer is yes, technically women should. But what happens when we're with our partners is we don't relax. We get in our heads. I can tell you just from being a woman, myself. I worry about how my body looks. If I look sexy in the way I'm moving, I worry about if my partner is experiencing pleasure. And as women, we worry about so many things and we have a lot of trouble 
getting out of our heads, which is something that we tend to be able to do a lot better when we're on our own because we don't feel that pressure of having someone watch on. But when you as a man, our male partner is there, we, we really tend to struggle with it. So what can you as a guy do? Well, there's a really simple answer and that is to give her that time to get out of her head, to unwind, to relax, and realize that she is safe with you to do that. And that's actually where today's video sponsor comes in, Promescent. Promescent is a product which is designed to help men last longer in bed. Whether you suffer from PE or you're just a man who wants to be more satisfying and doesn't wanna to have to be in bed trying to get out of your head in order to stop yourself from orgasming, but you really wanna be in the moment and just enjoy that time with your female partner and allow her to relax, to get enough time to get to climax. This is an amazing product and it's actually affordable and accessible, which I love. It means that everyone can try it out. So let's go and learn a little bit more about Promescent and why I love it and recommend it as a really great tool to help you get your woman to orgasm in bed. Promescent is an FDA compliant delay spray that helps men last longer in bed and the only delay spray in North America that's undergone a certified clinical study which showed men who use it go the distance. Promescent works by using target zone technology which helps extend your performance without making you feel numb whilst also ensuring little to no transference to your partner when used as directed. This is because unlike regular delay sprays, Promescent doesn't sit on the surface of the skin. Instead, it sits just below the epidermis where it's much more effective. There's no need to think about math, your grandma or the baseball score during sex. Promescent takes away that edge so that you can relax and enjoy the ride, pun intended. But don't just take my word for it. Promescent is recommended by over 2,200 physicians, doctors, sex therapists, and urologists nationwide as a first line defense for early ejaculation. Better still, it's available over the counter and online without a prescription, so you can avoid the awkward doctor's appointment. Promescent also offer a wide range of sexual enhancement products for better lovemaking, from silky smooth lubes to supplements to increase your energy, erections, and libido, to condoms. They're essentially a one-stop shop for hot, healthy sex all year round. Promescent's Delay Spray is already incredibly cheap, but because I'm so excited for you guys to try it out and see how good it really is, I've got a discount for you. Just use the code Nadia at checkout to receive 15% off. The link is in the description below. Be quick because this product regularly sells out. <laughs> It's not unusual at all in porn to see a woman having very vigorous sex, which she appears to be really enjoying, but when the camera zooms in on the genitals, we don't see any lubrication or wetness. Now this is really good acting because it's really not possible for a woman to have truly pleasurable sex, and it's most certainly very difficult for a woman to get to climax without being significantly lubricated. And that's why hacks one and two in this video were the first ones I mentioned. They are super important because they're really going to create that environment for a woman to get lubricated. But there are situations where you can do those things and a woman still won't get lubricated. And that is because women aren't human waterfalls. We can't just turn on lubrication like a light switch as much as we might like to do that. There are so many factors that can impact a woman's ability to naturally lubricate. Things like stress, age, illness, some types of medication, menopause, all of these factors can make it actually really difficult for a woman, even if she is very sexually aroused to experience natural lubrication. It is kind of a bit of a myth that we really teach men that if you are truly pleasing your woman in the sack, she should be soaking wet. And if she's not soaking wet, that means that you as a man have really failed her sexually. Lube is so important important to just keep by the bed, keep it there. If she's not getting wet, just grab out some lube and put it on her clitoris. The clitoris is gonna be key. We're gonna talk about that in the next hack, but if she's going to get to orgasm, she needs everything to be nice and juicy and wet because it's so key to getting to climax. <laughs> Research shows that roughly 70% of women require direct clitoral stimulation in order to reach orgasm. And yet the way that most of us have sex 
is a way that completely neglects the clitoris altogether. The clitoris is not touched or integrated in any way. So one of the best things that you can do for pretty much guaranteed orgasms for your woman every time is to integrate her clitoris. I want to add a little note here because this is somewhere where a lot of men go wrong and that is that the clitoris is not a DJ booth guys. Do not go crazy down there <laughs> rubbing at it because too much friction is just going to feel awful and it's going to have the reverse effect. What you want for really amazing clitoral stimulation is lots of lube so go and grab that bottle of lube like we mentioned in the last hack and then you want gentle circular motion. So you want to have a finger or two fingers and just be very gently circling around. A lot of men have been taught that variety is key, right? The more variety, the better. It's going to stop her from getting bored. But actually, when it comes to the clitoris, you want to be as boring and as repetitious as humanly possible. Do not change the motion that you're using down there unless she tells you that it's not feeling good for her. And then if that doesn't work, integrate a clitoral vibrator. There are so many women that have dulled clitoral sensitivity. Medications like antidepressants and the birth control pill can actually cause women to lose a lot of blood flow and sensitivity in their genitals. So a clitoral vibrator is going to essentially hack that system because those intense vibrations that the vibrator can provide are going to increase blood flow to the area and it's going to pretty much guarantee the fact that she is going to have an orgasm. The most reliable position for a woman to experience orgasm in is actually girl on top. And this is great news for you guys because this is still a really visually great position for you. When a woman is straddled over you, her clitoris is more exposed and it also is going to grind against your pubic bone when she is riding you and grinding against you. And because we know that clitoral stimulation is so important for the vast majority of women to experience experience an orgasm, we know that this position is going to give her the best chance of getting it because it's incorporating that friction against the clitoris. Now the only way to make this position even better and to pretty much guarantee an orgasm every single time is to incorporate a clitoral vibrator like I mentioned in the last hack. This is a great position for doing that because her clitoris is exposed, her legs are spread nice and wide so the vibrator is going to be in the perfect position. You can watch her use it while she's riding your dick. Hello hotness and she's going to have that really really intense combined stimulation of the vibrator and the G-spot stimulation from your penis inside of her. And I can pretty much guarantee she's going to have a mind blowing orgasm. It's a real shame to me that there are still so many women that are afraid to actually tell their partners that they are not having pleasurable sex and that they're not even having real orgasms. And I think this really is a cultural thing because culturally we teach women not to speak up about their comfort and about their pleasure. We teach women that their role in society is as people pleasers. It's to take care of other people, take care of their husband, take care of their children, be the best at work. And so women tend to really self-sacrifice in the bedroom and put themselves last. And this short changes men because men don't get the information or the intel that you need in order to know what's working and what's not working. The more that I think we can just start to get more comfortable with talking to each other in the bedroom, the better we're going to be at having better sex. But in the meantime, if you use these hacks, you pretty much are going to be having guaranteed bedroom success. Do not forget, go down, hit that link in the description box down below and check out Promess. And it is so cheap and so amazing. I have actually tried the product with my partner, so I'm not just plugging it, I've used it and I continue to use it. And it is amazing. You really don't have to worry about that transference to the partner. You can just enjoy sex. You can both be in the moment and also check out those lubes. They are really, really good. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of this content. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm here every week making videos just like this, helping you have better sex and throwing in some real talk along the way. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Mwah.